after deposit has been uh, proven and there is uh, a feasibility study or bankable feasibility study and we know what you know the returns are the net present value then the prod then the construction of that kind of uh, a project uh, can be financed much easier uh, because now you have concrete numbers uh, that's why at that point uh, a bank might finance the construction of a project like this or there's uh, other financing options that can be used but up to that point of a bankable feasibility study most likely the work whether it's for drilling or all kinds of stuff like that or delineating the the project most likely it has to come from um, from a private equity uh, well not, not private equity most likely it has to come from uh, from equity capital uh, because at that point when when you're drilling at that point it's it's too risky for a for, for a bank or more of a traditional a financing institution to get involved however after a deposit uh, shows that it has good economics and you know good net present value and all that all that good stuff then uh, it's much easier to uh, to finance a project like this and uh, so once you uh, once you have uh, the 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 you know the the, the treatment facility uh, uh, constructed and everything is ready to go into production then you start extracting ore uh, from the ground and what do I mean by ore uh, if you have a ton of dirt if it's just a dirt that you got from your backyard it's just dirt it's just waste it's not considered ore ore is when this particular ton of dirt contains mineralization whether it's copper gold or whatever it's it's um, considered ore and first you have to dig it out of the ground and then transport it to a processing facility that you constructed and when it comes to deposits deposits can be surface deposits or there can be underground deposits so when you construct a mine a mine can be an open pit mine or an underground mine and open pit mine it's simply that the deposit is on this in the surface so if you can see here the, uh, both of these are deposits and let's say this is uh, this is the ground uh, as you can see this deposit is very close to the surface while this deposit is not close to the surface so it's very likely that something like this would become an open pit uh, mine and something like this would become uh, an underground mine and if you ask yourself every, all the variables the same which deposit would be easier to extract this or this well obviously this would be easier to construct because you can just you know access it access it from the surface where an underground mine you have to build a shaft you have to go underground so it's more expensive um, therefore uh, the deposits that are uh, closer to surface are less expensive to dig out than the ones that are um, you know underground which means that uh, the deposits that are underground have to have to be have to be more valuable in order to get them than these deposits right and it's important to understand the difference because when uh, various companies are throwing out different numbers as to oh uh, we have uh, this this much or this much of whatever in the ground and it's at this grade and some investors might say well is this grade good well it depends right because uh, one grade for an uh, near surface deposit 
uh, can be good, but the same grade for an underground deposit could be bad because simply because of the cost of extracting it. So just keep that in mind. And uh, when it comes to the open open pit mines. <laughs> This is what they look like when they start uh, getting them mined. They uh, they take uh, you know uh, s levels of uh, and then they become like these uh, uh, cones, uh, reversed cones, and uh, you know they these deposits are like uh, holes in the ground. And then um, when they dig when they dig the ore out, they, they put the ore on these big trucks and then these big trucks um, t take the ore to the processing facility. Uh, now this, this, the same thing goes uh, for, for, for an underground mine. If, if you can see if the deposit is uh, deep in the ground, then they have to build a shaft and and then, there's different methods that they use for extracting this underground. There's there's all kinds of methods that I'm not going to get get into here, and uh, you know, uh, dep again, depending on uh, the the size of the deposit underground, uh, the uh, how how the the composition of it determines which method they use to take it out and then they have to send it back uh, to the surface and transport it to the processing facility whether it is uh, putting it on the truck or maybe using conveyor belts whatever it is the next step after mining because mining is taking it out of the ground the next step is sending it to the processing facility